Subpeeps in on here and welcome to Sepa Tears. I played this game back in like 2017 and I don't know why but somehow I glazed over the fact that it was a storyteller game and I think I may have been really drunk. I don't even know if the video is still up but like I was making fun of the fact that I didn't see any gameplay and I don't know why because <laughs> like I knew that storyteller games had existed but like I don't know, it's just like something just didn't click in my mind that it's like, well, this it's storyteller, you know, there's not really quote-unquote gameplay, it's, you know, it's a storyteller, it's got a, it's got a story to convey. So, uh, I, I don't know why, I just suddenly, I think uh, when I played Magic the Gathering, I mentioned it, but I think when I started Magic the Gathering up, because I hadn't played it since around the same time I played this, so I think it just kind of triggered something in my head, I'm like, well, you know, I don't. Th I didn't give it the justice it deserves. So, I mean, it seems pretty popular, and I think this one also gotten updated since I played it. Because uh, another game that I was talking about, while I was playing Magic, I messed in Lucid Nine, which I had played on my own, which also got an updated. So I'm going to be playing that too. But uh, let's go ahead and give this a real try. Yeah, you've heard of the Mayfly, right? It's one of those odd winter days when the snow is falling, but it isn't cold. Either late November or at the beginning of December, right around the time when the dollar stores start playing Christmas music and the couples go to stay. That is incorrect. Around here, they start doing that in fucking October, if not earlier. I don't know why. Probably because they like giving me a headache. One of those odd winter evenings. Oh, my collar's been popped this whole time, and my shirt has been popped. Don't ask me why I like polo shirts, I just do. I wear these even when I'm relaxing. I have very few regular t-shirts. Anyways, what was I, what was I reading? Uh, one, of those, one of those odd winter evenings, the same old 3 p.m. through the lens of the classroom window. I would describe the muted textures of the light through the glass, but it's becoming all too familiar. It'd be like raving about the miracle of flowers blooming in spring. The novelty is gone. Chairs screeching against tiled floors and ch students shattering all around, but the sounds fall on me, weightless. The mayfly? The bug that lives only f uh, a day once it grows its wings? It's a great metaphor. You must have seen it before. My, wa my mind wanders sometimes. It's like being stuck in a room with the TV set to the local news, almost muted but not quiet. Or like reading a boring web page because you're too lazy to click away. Having a voice in your head that won't shut up, it used to bother me, but I can handle it now. Listen to music on the way home, play a video game before you go to bed, kill time in any way you can, and it won't be so loud. Hmm. Ever wonder why they even bother? It's simple, really. You pick up your books, stand up, Put on your gloves as you walk through the early winter chill, get home, make a snack, relax, and let the process repeat itself. Life is the easiest thing in the world when you think about it. But sometimes memories resurface, the horrible red-brown that enroached on my vision, creeping from a box loft safely away. I don't remember that, but you know, I can relate to all that stuff, so that uh, it's already hitting me. It's already hitting me in my feels. All right, let's go ahead and play. Oh, it's cold. I hadn't noticed before, but it looks like it started snowing. Was I out for that long? I was walking home from school a moment ago, I'm sure. Or is this a dream? That would make sense. But then why am I wearing my school uniform? And why is my wallet in my pocket? Well, that doesn't prove anything, but I might, but might as well roll with it. Oh, God. It's seriously pitch black here. I can make out. I can make the snowflakes. I, I can make out the snowflakes just fine, but nothing else seems to be lighting them. I better start moving before I freeze to death. Ah! That light. It's. Oh. Oh, it's good music. Oh, hi. Hello. You come. Y you. Thank you for coming to see me. It's lonely here, you know. Lonely? Yeah, I can't deny that. It's a peaceful person, trapped in the darkness under the sno soft snowfall. 
but it's a prison. What's the matter? Aren't you glad to see me? I... She looks familiar. I'm sure of it. The memory teases me like a vivid, vivid lucid dream, but I can't grab a hold of it. It's been such a long time. I thought you would have been ecstatic. Uh, uh, I open my mouth, but the words are lost. The more I search for the memory, the more her eyes bewitch me. As snowflakes fall on the girl's hair, I force the first words out of my mouth. Who are you? Do you really not remember me? What a shame. We have so much to catch up on. Her smile is confident, mysterious somewhere, between angelic and doll-like. Fair enough, yeah. There's nothing to worry about. After all, we have all the time in the world. So then, who are you? She looks me in the eyes, and my heart stops. I'm the person you wish you never met. She embraces me, and my senses freeze, until a color strikes my eye against the monochrome backdrop. Hanging in the stillness, a red ribbon drips from the side of her hair. And on the inside of that river, something is written. But just as fantastic as that is the fact that the words are scrambled and blurred even though my eyes are inches from it. The ribbon, don't you remember? It was your... Her voice fades away. I glance at the ribbon again, but before I can move it closer, my stomach flips upside down. What? Ah! The girl's warmth, warmth fades from my arms. Ah! Ah! ah. Is she disappearing? I'm... This... This whole world is... A knife pierces my heart as I realize something. It's not this world that's disappearing. It's me. Sheesh. That's some heavy shit. God damn it. Like, save the heavy shit for at least until I get adjusted into the game. God damn it. Fuck you. Day one. Reunion. Oh, so it has days now. Did did it have days before? I can't even remember. Like, I only played it for like 20 minutes. So, I don't even remember. Honi-chan. Is there like a... Can I, can I have voices to play for me? Because I might... You, trust me, you don't, you don't want me to try all these voices. I'm assuring you. You do not want me to do this. I don't want to butcher anything. <laughs> Hang on a second. I want to check something. Damn it. I was hoping there was like something that would like do the voices for me. Onichan. I'm trying to save. There we go. Onichan, are you up? That sounds familiar. Mark, we're going to be late. The fucking hell. Ah. <laughs> That's weird cuz Mark is my dad's name. <laughs> are you even listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Jeez. It wouldn't kill you to be a little more gentle. Gentle. Gentle, but I'm your cute little sister. I'm automatically gentle. That's like saying I'm automatically dependable because I'm your older brother. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Wait. <laughs> See? If you're not the dependable sibling you're supposed to be, that gives me the legal right to find new and exciting ways to tease you. And who is it that wrote this law? More importantly, I have a history test this morning, so I'm, I'll leave you behind if I have to. Oh. Pouting, my diligent, evil little sister run down, runs down the stairs. Can't she find a normal way, f normal form of torture? <sighs> ah. It's bright out. Pleasantly bright. I can get lost just looking at the pale blue sky, although I fear the cold that accompanies it. See, this is why I hate winter. Nature has no mercy for the Northern Hemisphere. True fucking that, dude. Like, seriously, it doesn't. <laughs> Actually, does that make a difference? Technically, every country has to be a part of a hemisphere. So there must be warm regions in the Northern Hemisphere, and even so, the Southern Hemisphere would be... Why are you going on a tangent like that? <laughs> Mark, I've been working on my... I'm not going to even try to say that, because white American boy don't know how to speak that. <laughs> I mean, Hoto Shaken would be my guess. And I'm coming, I'm coming. The last time she tried this, I shudder to think of it. 
Oh, it must have been that. I guess that's from an anime. Like I, I, I watch anime, but like there's all like, I, I watch. I didn't watch like, like Japanese form of anime until I was probably like, fifteen, sixteen. So like, I miss a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of things that go right up my head. <laughs> I shudder to think of it. I'm pretty sure I know who my next uh, pra practice subject will be if you make me fail my test. Isn't it usually practice partner, not practice subject? I think so, but... <laughs> Achievement unlocked, 50% crit, uh, Paradise Found, Unannounced Visitor. Uh, oh god, there's a lot. Take a peek, it's a secret, don't confess. Was there something else I could do? Oh my god. Uh, Sepeteers, we watched the clouds. Th that must be for when I played before. Because I'm about, like, 20 minutes away from where I would have stopped the last time. Around-ish. Depending on if I read or not. Or how much I, like, work away to talk. So I don't, I don't know. So that's my sister, Rena. Since she started at my school, life has been hell. <laughs> well, maybe that's an exaggeration. She's a nice girl and all. She takes care of me, makes me lunch, forces me to buy her stuff. <laughs> ah, see what I mean? I'm already out of compliments. I'm out of compliments already. And that threat certainly wasn't the first. Ouch. Stupid razor. Dad was supposed to show me how to use this thing. Anyway. Rune is a strange girl. Uh, it, to put it nicely, she always rattles on about these crazy robot wars and uh, melodramatic love stories that she watches, trying to find new and exciting ways to pull me into her world. Hey, the world of anime is fucking amazing. You better shut the hell up. I'll fucking fight you. <laughs> I haven't figured out why she calls me a Nichon yet, though. Am I saying that right? I feel I feel like I'm, I have just a very thick accent whenever I try to say that. Onichan. Whatever. Yet, though, uh, I haven't figured out why she calls me a Nichon yet, though. Is it ironic? Unironic? Ironically... <laughs> Is it ironic? Ironically unironic? Ironic because she thinks I think it's subtly ironically unironic. God, I... I hate to know what's going... What else is going on in this guy's mind. What the fuck? <laughs> I can only... Like, it's bad because that's exactly the kind of thought process I have. And I find it annoying. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> I hate my own thought process. So what, reading something that's almost like my thought process is just like, God fucking damn it, shut up. I can only conclude that it is part of some devious scheme that I have yet to catch wind of. The tip of the iceberg, so to speak. If the iceberg were a blood-related little sister. But as much as I like to criticize her, I can't complain. She still does better than me at school. Alright, I'm almost done. Oh, and she also does a better job of cooking and budgeting than me. Oh, well, I can kind of relate to the budgeting, but fuck you, I'm good at cooking. <laughs> and she never sleeps in, I do that. And the only time she's late for class is when I hold her back. Now do you see why life with her is hell? Fair enough. Good morning. Did you sleep well? I slept perfectly fine until I was awoken by a certain someone. How could you say that? How could you, how, how could you say that? You should be more thankful to have a cute girl like me wake you up every morning. You're not supposed to call yourself cute. <laughs> is that because we're blood related and you're af that's not why afraid of what afraid afraid I don't know where this is going <laughs> I mean it's a little vain don't you think and it's not very cute true <laughs> but what if I'm doing it to unnerve you good point <laughs> good point <laughs> I didn't even look at the screen I just said good point <laughs> Well, I do have to thank you for keeping me on my toes all the time. You're like my mother, is what I want to say, but I imagine her eye, her twitching smile and my light flashing before flashes before my eyes. <laughs> so, Rim, you have a test this morning? Yep. I did a quick review with my friends yesterday, you, so you don't need to worry about it. I wasn't worried. Aw, is that your way of hiding your affection? Was that even remotely implied? Oh my god, this guy even talks like me. What the fuck? I'm sure you'll pass the test. 
I just want to make sure you don't forget anything and end up failing for some stupid reason. Like the time I accidentally brought my Game Boy instead of my calculator? Yes. Like that time. I was only 12. It was an instant mistake. Only 12. Regardless, you get what I'm saying. Just don't screw up. I know, I won't. But aren't your exams coming up as well? Uh-oh. I was going to go over to Lucas' house and study over the weekend. Something like that. Or something like that. <laughs> Even for you, that's not a very convincing lie. Psychic. <laughs> but I did make that up on the spot. It wouldn't kill you to have a bit of faith in me. If I said I'll, if I said I'd, I'll study, I'll study. Really? You'll spend your whole Saturday afternoon doing math problems and rereading your social science notes? Social science? I'm tempted to say what notes, but that's, that really isn't the problem here. Yeah, no, I really didn't take school notes in high school either, but my grades weren't that bad either. I just, you know, did everything out of the top of my head. The only time I ever used any notes was my finals. That's the only time I ever implied any notes. Oh, that's a lie. I had a history class where I did it, but that's solely because the teacher used it as homework, and if you didn't do them, your grade would go down. <laughs> you yeah, know uh the the one semester i got to do in college before everything got really hectic that's when i realized oh god i need to write notes so listen anybody who's not in college yet get ready to write notes because if you go to college without taking notes i'm gonna tell you right now you're gonna fail like there is no if ands or i don't give a metric fuck how smart you are if you are in college you should be taking notes if you're in high school i mean i didn't take notes in high school so i can't complain about that but do it then so you know you can uh you know get a feel for it i just noticed something um where the screen cuts out uh it because it's windowed it says friday december 10th i guess that's the game but interesting well that's a good way to market and everything oh what a sorry i got sidetracked <laughs> All this talk is killing my voice. <coughs> Good. But that really is the problem here. Well, <coughs> would you look at the time? Don't change the subject. We're already late. <laughs> well then, we'll have to continue at lunch, right, Omni-chan? That smile is much so... That... <laughs> that smile is so much more endearing before you get to know her. Fair enough. Made it. I leap past the front door as the clock strikes eight, inhaling a lungful of December air. That would have make me have an asthma attack, because I, I get really wheezy in the cold. That's why there's an inhaler over there. Not bad, Mark. Not bad at all. You were taking so long with your bag that I thought I'd really, I'd really have to put the gloves on. I thought you were going to, I thought you were going to leave me if I took too long. I, I was only kidding. Leave my only brother alone to walk to the school on such a cold, cold day? I couldn't. And yet you practice your anime fighting techniques on me. Well, when you look at it that way... But you know mastery of the martial arts can be extremely important. Oh god, I don't like that. What does that have to do with anything? It's important, really. Yeah, yeah, I know. Self-defense and all that. No, not just self-defense. It's an extra weapon in your arsenal. What? Okay, picture this. Oh, I like the, where this is going. Imagine that you're fighting against someone who already knows your techniques. And why would I be doing that? Because the person challenged you? Because he kidnapped the princess? Use your imagination. But what if the princess is in another cat? Then you'll just have to go look for her. Ouch. Anyway, let's say that you end up in combat with someone who knows that you're good with long-range weapons, like a crossbow. Sorry, I ate breakfast a little while ago, and I'm still getting kind of gassy. I'm about... <laughs> and there's that too. Puck! They already know all your weakness. All they have to do is dash forward and fight at a closer range. The archer won't be able to react fast enough, and the attacker will have the advantage. I mean, that's accurate, but why are we talking about this when we're clearly in high school at the most? 
I'm very confused. But I'm not going to question it. But what if you're using a mid-range weapon like a lance? A lance? That's easy. A well-trained warrior would be proficient with both bows and axes. And everyone knows that an axe beats the lance. True, but then couldn't you just learn magic and attack from a distance? Yes, but what if your enemy knows you're a magician? A skilled axe wielder would eliminate you with a single strike, no critical necessary. Every magician needs an ace up his sleeve. And that ace is martial arts? That's one option. You see, magicians draw their power internally, not externally. Magic, like sorcery, flows through a natural... Why are we talking about it like this is an actual thing in this room? Uh, oh god, stop! Uh, uh, oh, I lost my place! Through a natural uh, internal circuit before it can be used in a form of spell. <laughs> the use of these circuits can drain much of an am amateur's magical energy, resulting in the weakening of the magus' ability... Mage's ability... Mag <laughs> <laughs> In this scenario, even a trained ma magus, mag magus, mag magic, magic, uh, <coughs> isn't that like the, isn't that like a Japanese, <coughs> is it, <coughs> isn't that like the Japanese version, word for it or something? No, I'm just gonna say magician, because that's what it's trying to say, and I don't feel like trying to pronounce it 8,000 times. <coughs> I'm not getting sick anymore, I don't think. I may not have even been sick, uh, with, with spring and summer clash. Clashing and with everything going around, my allergies are shocking <laughs> me in the face. <laughs> Kill me. Anyways, where was I? Uh, in this scenario, even a, a trained magician would be susceptible to attack <laughs> from an, an ordinary human, more so if said human is skilled in hand to hand combat. Though it is un an unlikely scenario, it would be prudent for a magician to. Enough with the. Info dumps. I, I don't know why. I couldn't read that word for a second. Fine. I don't need you. She taps the Twitter icon on her phone and runs away. Are you allowed to talk about that kind of stuff for games? I know anime is too good. I to be careful. Except one. I can't remember which one it was. I think it may have been Golden Time. But they're just eating. And there's just this big ass box that just has Papa John's plastered on it. And I'm like, that's what. I think it was Golden Times, maybe it's something else. All I know is I remember watching an anime and there's just this big old box with Papa John's plastic. And I'm like, come on, make your own. Like, come on. Pizza, pizza man handmade is delicious, my dudes. And I'm not just saying that because I'm Italian. Fuck you. Sorry, I thought it was this nice. Okay, I may have been a bit hard on her back there. But this isn't a bad outcome, a bad outcome either. You'd, th you'd think the streets would be a bit more busy in the morning, but no, no one ever passes by here. It's hard to get used to it if you're from the city, but I've lived in the suburbs my whole life, and I like the peace and quiet. Same, dude. I, I can't stand loud places. I just loud, bustling places. It's just so. Yeah, I've lived like as long as I can remember. I've lived in a small town. I'm used to walking around and. I'm used to driving and there just being woods on either side of me. I like walking through the woods, even with my allergies. <clears throat> but, yeah. It was just ironic, because you'd think I wouldn't have allergies considering how much I spend, like, how long I've spent, like, in the outdoors, so. Like, right now I live in probably one of the more, like, city areas of this place. The outskirts of it, but I just like the most city like area here everywhere else it's just like small small little blops with woods and i love it love it so much it's hard to get used to it if you're oh i already read that whoopsies it's nice it lets your mind wander that it does except for when it does stuff like that <laughs> let your mind wander to things you'd rather avoid it does <sighs> mark huh what was that Oh, it was a girl. I, I I assumed it was his friend. Or Lucas. I guess that would be a female name, huh? Whoopsies. I look around and momentarily spot a figure. But it disappears before my eyes. Strange. She looked familiar. Meh. Can't be that important. Two weeks later. Oh, I thought it was an actual person. Whatever. Two weeks later, I would look back at that moment as the first series. First 
in a series of very, very silly assumptions. Lucas. Lucas. Is that Lucas? 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 I'm just gonna say Lucas. Mark, you're actually early. A familiar voice welcomes me in from the cold. In front of me stands a young man that I've known since the beginning of high school, and that I sometimes wish I didn't know. Yeah, I know that feeling. On time is more like it. We're barely five minutes until we... <clears throat> We barely have five minutes before until the bell. <laughs> That's still an accomplishment coming from you. I can't do this many voices. God damn it! I don't have the voice range for it. Fuck. Oh hey, did you bring your notes for the presentation? My other friend Lillian <clears throat> voices her question politely, unlike a certain little sister. Er, uh, well, Rin was on the computer until midnight and my laptop needed recharging and... And your house was... And your house was constructed without power outlets, of course. Fine, fine, I'll print them out at lunch. Jesus Christ! I just got a PTSD flashback! No, I don't want to go back. You can't make me. <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> no. No, I don't want to wake up at 6 in the morning anymore. No, no, you can't make me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I complained about 6 in the morning for high school, but when I started college, I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning, so. And didn't go to bed until about 12, so that was fun. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually looking forward to a boring lecture. It means I can relax. The teacher's voice drones on, and on, and on. I only know of one way to escape. Jumping out the window might have long-term consequences, though, so I'll be content with staring through it. Whenever I'm bored at school, I always like looking out at the weather and thinking about what I would rather be doing anywhere but here. <laughs> Although Fortune has treated me with nothing but a sadistic little sister and a pile of unfinished homework this morning, so maybe I'm better off in class after all. Mark. Am I hearing things? Mark. It's just like this morning. Is this someone's stupid idea of a prank? I'm sure it's just some kid with nothing better to do with their time, but... I'm sure it's just some kid... Oh. Waste of the time, but I can't forget that. All right, I know what I have to do. Pinpointing the source of the sound, and I spin and glare at my target. She's not getting away this time. Er, the class stares at me. Lucas turns around. I sit back down, awkwardly. <clears throat> Lunch, finally. No matter how many years go past, nothing beats a taste of cold meat and freedom. It's quiet. Lucas sighs audibly, and I follow. I still don't know how Rain could sacrifice her lunch break to study for a test when she hardly when she hardly ever studies at home. It's far from the strangest thing she's ever done. Point taken. Hmm. So, how was that game I lent you? Oh right. To be honest, I'm not really into those dating sim. They're not dating sims, and they if they don't have statistics. Okay. Let's calm down. Easy. There you go. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll check it out when I have time. Get time. Right now I'm busy with... I was about to say schoolwork, but that's a lie. But that lie won't last a second. Stuff. Yeah, stuff. Mark, you do know what this means, don't you? I really think I can see the sunlight glint off those glasses. I think I really think I can see the sunlight glint off those off, off of those glasses. <laughs> this means that you haven't yet to experience modern Japanese visual culture in all of its glory. Can you please shut up now? Surely you haven't. You found yourself taking a peek at Rin's DVD collection at some point in the past 16 years. Haven't you ever felt discontented with the path the stories take? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> 
protagonists always have plot armor and spend stories, and the main heroine always wins in romances. Even aside from being dumbed down by the awkward transitions between two inherently different mediums, have you ever felt like the story isn't working? Does it doesn't does it not feel like the main character is a brainless idiot and that you could do a much better job than him? Have you felt like giving that idiotic protag a punch in the face and telling him to choose the shy innocent library girl over the deceitful Oni Chan Care? Sorry, I don't know why my brain just started lagging there, but it did. Who can't go on a date without thinking about her little brother? The statement may contain a slight amount of bias. <clears throat> At any rate, there's only one solution to problems like these. You play the game. I sense an evil chuckle as he finishes, as if he wants to add, and soon you'll be just like me. Well, like I said, I'll get to it eventually. Lucas kicks his feet up. It really is a good game, though. And the school uniforms kind of resemble ours, don't you think? As much as I hate to admit it, he's right. A school is infamous for its elaborate uniforms that don't don't match its academic reputation. That isn't going to make me play it any faster. Then I'll bother you every day until you do. Do you dare to underestimate my persistence? Jesus fuck! So loud! Anyway, from each other, thankfully. Away from each other, thankfully. Plus, I have the sound down really low. Why is it so fucking loud? <laughs> I did it. <clears throat> it took a few years, but I did it. I made it back. And it won't be long before I talk to him again. The clock ticks in the background as a girl gazes passively, pensively out the window. I'm getting nervous just thinking about it. Nervous and a little excited. It's been so long. What do I do if he's changed? The whole plan would be pointless. I have to stay calm. I know what I'm doing, and I thought it all through. Just stick to the script. God, I'm so nervous. So, so, so nervous. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't know about you, but I think that's a really damn good spot to leave it off. And later on, we'll figure out why this person likes Sunset so much. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay weird, peeps. And I'll be seeing you all later. Think I'm lost, I just think I'll be a legend I'm never gonna stop till I'm one above second And my thoughts at the top of my mind stay present yeah, Don't let your dreams yeah. stop, cause yeah, dreaming is a blessing they tell me all the same Tell me I won't make a name But it's not about the fame